in the intro video, I mentioned that I uh, was going to do a few things, and chief among them was going to be putting in a DC to DC controller so that I could electrically separate the starting battery with the house battery. And I just actually got the um, DC to DC controller here. Um, I saved you the unboxing because you guys know what the box looks like, but I wanted to show you what's in the box. There doesn't seem to be a lot on this because this is a pretty new product. So um, I'm just trying to get some info out there so that hopefully if anybody else is interested and they have questions, they can ask early on before, you know, I start doing a bunch of stuff. Um, and then I have to backtrack to try to uh, answer the question. So what comes in the box is going to be the unit itself. And then you're going to have your warranty card, your instruction manual. And then here is some ring terminals for your uh, wiring and uh, a battery temperature probe. Okay, so that's kind of it. Now, this is just called basically the 12 slash 24 50 amp IP67 uh, DC DC with uh, MPPT. That's kind of, if you look on their website, that's kind of what it's called. It doesn't have like a, a easy name. It's, it's kind of, the description is the name basically. But what this does is it lets you electrically separate two batteries so that one does not discharge the other, but uh, they can both be charged. And it also lets you, if you have an MPPT, it also lets you um, use solar to charge not just your house battery, but also uh, trickle charge your starting battery. And this does have a trickle charge feature regardless so that um, your starting battery will never be uh, dead and you'll never be stranded somewhere. Now, one of the best features about this is that this is, I mean, as far as I know, and I, I have looked, but of course I haven't looked you know, in every corner of the earth, but um, this is the first one that I, I have seen that is rated by the manufacturer to be installed in the engine compartment, uh, which is kind of a big deal because normally you have to run cable all the way from the batteries to this thing, uh, which is going to be a thicker gauge um, than um, what comes, you know, like a 120 volt that comes out of the final system. So if you have to mount this inside, that means you have to run things into the firewall and you're going to be running um, maybe some thicker cable um, having to go to here. So by going with or by staying within the, the uh, engine compartment, that really tidies up a lot of the, the wiring. And then uh, from there, you can, um, you can pipe out to whatever you need. But both batteries being inside the engine compartment. That means all of this stays in there and whatever you pipe into the firewall after that point, you know, that's that's different, but um, you don't need to put this wire into the firewall in the um, cab or all the way out to the bed of the truck or camper or whatever you have, right? Everything can stay in the engine compartment, which is, again, a pretty big deal when it comes to um, cutting down the complexity and the time it takes to install it. The other great feature is that it's uh, ready to accept solar, so you can, as long as you stay within the limits of what this allows, you can run one or multiple solar panels uh, directly to your unit. You can have the connections ready to go, and then you just throw the the panels out, connect them, and you're you're off to the races. So there's your overview. Again, just trying to get this out there to the world because there's not a lot of videos on it because this is a, a new product. And so I want to give people the chance to ask questions um, that I can try to answer as I, as I go through the process of installing it. And as I get the time to start the install, of course, I'll make more videos. But um, for now, this is what comes in the box. If you are interested in this product, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer. Again, I, I just got this, but I will do my best to answer any questions or at least write them down and then answer them as I find the answer during the install. Thanks for watching. See you next time.